Yo, what is up guys? It's me, your boy, Fire Hydrant, and I'm back with another vid. And today, we're going to talk about the XFL. It's back. It's here. It's decent. It's... I'm going to be honest with you. It is 100% nowhere near perfect. It is not as downright perfect as the NFL. There was receivers dropping passes Kickers being kickers and missing completely. QBs who you could definitely tell haven't played in ages. Oh, week one, it lived up to the hype because it delivered fast-paced, fast-action football. But it wasn't great. It was sloppy football. It was like JV football. It was just all over the place. All over the place. Let's start with some of the rules in the XFL, which are... They have an official that just spots the ball, which keeps the game fast paced because the play clock only has 25 seconds and you got to get it off and go, which I like. I like the fast pace because regular NFL, they be taking 90 years in between plays and I just, I ain't got the time. I be tired. Hurry up. Snap the ball. I ain't got all day. I'm trying to go to bed. I got work in the morning. This, mm. So I like that. I also like the extra point attempt after a touchdown. I think that's good. One point from the two-yard line. Was it two points from the three-yard line, five-yard line, and then like five points from the ten or something like that. I think that's amazing. That's I find that fascinating. You score, and then you're like, you know what? Let's go for three, and you make it. Instead of being up 6 nothing or 7 nothing like in their NFL, you're up 9 nothing opening drive and I think it's cool I th find that fantastic it's a quick way to rack up points it looks like it looks cool You're like oh what are they gonna go for they go for two because normally in the NFL it's a touchdown and then boom a field goal ever so rarely do you go for two unless you're down or you want to try to increase your lead and make it a two score game with the XFL you could be down and be like, you know what? Let's go for three. Boom, game's tied. You ain't got to kick a field goal. Boom, you have the lead. I think it's interesting. Like, for real. Like, 100% mad interesting. The other thing I like is the kickoffs. They're safer. You can still get the hits. Like, both teams line up and can't move until the ball's caught, which, is, which eliminates some of those fast, big concussion CTE having hits but the XFL don't play they still be hitting you like a hundred percent what I do like is that you get the same contact you could either catch the ball some guy breaks off his man you're down at the 10 or you could take 50 yards 60 yards take it to the house there's still that aspect of it the only thing they did block and reduce was those big time collisions and that's what I like a hundred percent. I like the kickoff. I like the extra point attempt. The football looks weird. It's definitely made for kickers because the punters, they were just dropping like 70 yard dimes. Just perfect inside the 10 on the three. Like kicking that ball looks fun, but throwing that ball and catching that ball looks difficult because these, you could tell, no one's played in a minute. Nobody's played. In a minute. You, the QBs were rusty. The wide receivers were rusty. The running back. The, the only shining point were the running backs on offense. They looked like they were good. The Some of the call home, oh man. Corners were getting dusted left and right without. Oh, man. It's just it's just not. It's not the NFL. But that, then, again, it was just week one. And... You know, it's got to grow. It's got to continue. We got to see how week two looks. Because if week two is popping and it gets better over time, then I can really see it becoming a great thing. I also like, after a play, there's a sideline reporter right there interviewing you. So you fumbled the ball across the game. There's a reporter right there in your face. So why'd you fumble it? How does it feel to fumble it? What? He's right there in your face. No regard for your... For you as a human, he's like, oh, you dropped it. So how was it? Why did you drop it? Like, damn, my brother can't even 
have a minute to get sad and just be sad and go, damn, I don't know. Answer my question right now. Like, hold oh, damn. Shit coming in my face for for no reason. So you didn't complete the cast. Why not? I just didn't throw well. I love it. I find it so funny and so brutal. You mess up. Like, you missed the kick. What happened? Like, damn, them sideline reporters don't waste no time on you. Let's see. There's also, what else do I like about the XFL? I think the uniforms, I'm not going to lie. The uniforms are dope. Some of them are absolutely amazing. Like I like the the New York Guardians uniform is nice. Seattle has a nice uniform. Like the uniforms, they're fly. I ain't gonna lie, they tough. The names are, you know, wonky and kind of like childish, but I like them. I like the uniform. The uniform, they're stylish. They pop. They're vibrant. They're like when you make your team on Madden and you can make your custom jersey. That's what they, they're custom jerseys. They look cool. I like that. And let's see. I'm pledging my allegiance. As you guys all know, I'm a San Francisco 49er fan. That's my team. Through thick and thin. However, in the XFL, no one really gravitates me. So with that being said, as a New Yorker who lives in New Jersey, I will be pledging my allegiance to the New York Guardians. That's right. They're one and no. I would definitely not buy merch at all. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's a whole... Mm -mm. The only way I buy XFL merch is if New York makes the playoffs. Other than that, I'm not wearing no XFL merch. It's probably cheaper than NFL merch, to be honest. But outside of that, ain't buying nothing for them. But that's right. I pledge my allegiance to the New York Guardians. Let's go get them, boys. They won yesterday, too. Like, 19-3 or something like that. Hold up. Let me check. Let me check for you guys. Who are you? The Guardian. 23-3. I was off by a lot. 23-3 against the Vipers. Oh, man. If I'm telling you, if I was a betting man, I'd have won my bets. I took, look. Over and under for all four games this past weekend. It was 50 points and up. I bet, if I would have bet, I told my dad on Saturday, bet the over in these two games. Yesterday happened, I was like, 50 points with these two? I bet the others. I would have hit, man, let me tell you. I would have hit those, oof, oof. I should bet, but I don't like losing money. That's my problem, I'm stingy with my money. But man, oh man, when it, I would have won. 23-3, and the other game was like 15-9. 15-9. That is a good baseball team versus a bad baseball team. It has like the Yankees and the Marlins. Like, how? 15-9 for a football game? Are you ridiculous? Are you absolutely kidding me? Then again, it is the XFL, and no one's... A lot of these guys have been out in the league. A lot of these guys are college that never made it. So... We'll see. We'll see where it goes, how it goes. It was fun to watch. It's football. So football. It's fast action football. Again, I. It's fast paced because that real NFL sometimes be taking eleven minutes between plays. I'm like, damn, I gotta go to bed soon. Can we like? But yeah, the XFL fast paced, good uniforms, sloppy play for the first week. There was no exhibition. Some of these guys just practiced together for the first time in like ages. The quality should get better, hopefully, as the week goes on. Like, next week's games, I'll watch, have a report on them, because it, mm, it's a bit sloppy, week one. But that's what you expect for people who've never played or people who haven't played in ages. With that being said, and all that being done, it's been real. I've been your boy, Fire Hydrant. Go New York Guardians. And I will see y'all in tomorrow's video. Peace out, homies.